Place Palace in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, directly across the river from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. This mutually agreed upon venue fits against each other the greatest National Hockey League players from the U.S. and Canada during the 1940s through year 2000. Tonight, it's Team Canada versus Team USA. This will be a memorable event and one surely to make the history books. I'm gyrating Jimmy, your privileged announcer for tonight's game for pride, inner peace, and overall satisfaction. <laughs> Let's begin representing Team Canada is its captain. He played center. Let's welcome seven-time All-Star and the only player who racked up zero goals and zero assists but have over, over 1,000 tries from the Montreal Canadiens, it's Dennis Boom Boom Gauthier. Joining him in tonight's game is left defenseman Roy Slapshot Castell, Castell, Castell! Roy enjoyed 30 years, a 30 year career with the same team, the renowned Toronto Maple Leafs, one of only six original teams that formed the NHL. Roy ended his career with some goals and assists, but that record is sealed and guarded in Canada's capital city of Ottawa. <laughs> now it's time to introduce a right winger and a native of Toronto who clawed his way through 22 NHL seasons with his speed, his skill, and game intelligence. Also from the Toronto Maple Leafs, the man who was voted MVP six consecutive seasons. Known as the party crasher and the face smasher and slasher, it's Sammy Hartman! Rounding out tonight's Team Canada participates, participants is a left winger. He's a left wing wonder, meaning fans wonder why he played at all. He amassed 1,900 penalty minutes in over 25 years with the Sens, also known as the Ottawa Senators. He hails from Ottawa, Canada, and to this day continues to nurse a severe injury he sustained in a brutal game. A one-half inch scratch on the back of his neck. <laughs> he now guards many inmates at the No-Kill Animal Control Center directly across the street from his Ottawa home. Regardless, he's tough, and he has earned the name the Enforcer for damn good reason. How about it for Gima 2? <laughs> Okay, fans, we're going to have a little bit of trivia now, and I think I have to go back up on the stage, if that's correct. Bang week. Coming up. Yeah, who's your caller Let's make sure this microphone is hot, because I'm not. <laughs> what happened to your teeth, man? Guys, back there, my own team. Slap, slap, boom, boom. You're not supposed to skate behind the net during practice. It was not practice. Okay, fans, a little bit of trivia. But first, will Sherry Gauthier please come on to the stage? Played, it was in what year? 1992. 
With what team and who did they play against? He played for the Tampa Bay Lightning against the St. Louis Blues. All right, Sherry, that's beautiful. That is a true story, so I need to go back to my podium here and get the rest of these low lights on. Canada! 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 USA! USA! Americans didn't show up for what? <laughs> okay, hockey fans, that'll be enough out of you, Dennis. Go to the penalty box, dossier. <laughs> it's time to meet the hunks that make the, oops, I mean, the people making up Team USA. Our first player who set records and penalties during his career is a puck master, and that's puck master. He can puck handle better than the legendary Wayne Gretzky. It's the captain. <laughs> Come on out, Jimmy Edison! <laughs> and next is the Apple Man. He's kind of fruity, but he's fast on the ice. He's well skilled. His stick, believe this or not, measures 60 inches. And he has a slight curve, allowing him to lift the puck over the goaltender's shoulders and into the net. He's able to join us tonight with the permission of his probation officer. Let's welcome Jim Bimbo Apple Adams. Checked a referee at Denny's for calling the holding the stick penalty on him and allowing the competing team to score for the victory during an overtime game. Very few players have his ability to score while on a road trip. He plays two positions, defense at home and offense when he's on a road trip at a swanky hotel. And also that hotel must have a bar. He knows how to turn on the red light, not only at an away game, but at home when his family's having trouble paying the bills. Please welcome a successful forward, Skinny Pete Turka. Hey, Skinny, what happened? Hard to recognize And yes, Team USA has a real dick on the team. <laughs> He is in and out of the penalty box on a regular basis and enjoys having fans watch him do his dirty work. He glides so well when doing his work on the ice. Let's hear it for the box master, Big Dick Peltier! Thank you. 